Hi, Trent White here with the Automotive Training Academy with your tip of the week. Every day at dealerships across the country, this happens. The finance manager and the customer butt heads for 30 to 45 minutes trying to show who's right. However, this does not lead to repeat and referral business, nor does it generate revenue. In the automotive industry, finance managers can come across as greedy, aggressive, and confrontational. These three traits describe someone who is focused too much on what's in it for them. They are primarily focused on how much money they can make if a product is sold. Then they quickly make decisions based on what the client needs or what they should do. Perhaps this happens without properly gathering information. They may ask questions. However, they are not inclined to listen to the client's response. Now, they love to talk about anything and everything as long as they're selling. And every time they're selling something, you see their version of the truth and hear how it's better than yours. But that's not how they want to be perceived, nor do we want to jeopardize their best customer, their sales team, their dealership's reputation. Then there's the automotive professional. To make a difference and change this perception, we need to adapt to the mindset of having an attitude of servitude. Professional business consultants take the time to interview their customers and provide sound advice based on the customer's driving habits, previous experiences, and how the product fits their needs. Professionals don't tell someone what or how to do something. What makes them different is they are not concerned about how much money is in it for them, they are more concerned about how to keep you as a customer for life. They look to build rapport. They take the time to listen to the customer and make solid recommendations based on what's important to the customer's needs. A professional will sell more than the person that's in it for themselves and assist in creating repeat and referral business for the sales team and the dealership. We are looking to create customers for life. And when they come back to your dealership, the second sale becomes easier than the first. This starts by caring for the customer and having an attitude of servitude. Let's take the professional approach and remain non-confrontational. From all of us here at the Automotive Training Academy, that was your tip of the week.